Welcome to Gray on Mat. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a hexagon and a great angular hexagon where in the interior uh, interior angles are all equal. And the length of the segments of the non segments are given to be four units for A, B, and five units for B, C, seven units for C, D, and uh, six units for D, E. And we are required to find the area of this uh, equiangular hexagon okay so first thing that we can do is uh, we can actually uh, um, draw lines from this uh, point c okay and uh, this line should have the same uh, inclination as uh, as BC and a uh, horizontal line from uh, BE. And since it is given that uh, the uh, hexagon is equiangular, then this is uh, 120 degrees. Okay, all of the angles are 120 degrees. And uh, if uh, this is 120, then this angle should be 60. 60 degrees. And this is 60 degrees. And this is 60 degrees. Okay, so uh, but why it is uh, 120 degrees? Because if you have a hexagon, uh, And you draw a line from this point to this point. Then you form uh, actually uh, four triangles. So each of these triangles has uh, 180 degrees inside interior angle. So 180, 180, 180, 180. So total of uh, uh, 720 degrees and uh, if you divide it evenly into 6 uh, this 720 because I yes 720 becomes 120 degrees for each uh, angle for it to be equal so this angle is 120 degrees Okay. Okay. So next, the uh, same procedure for segment AB. Uh, we continue this uh, point B and to point and from point A. So this becomes a uh, four. This side we actually form an equilateral triangle. This is sixty, and this is sixty, and this is sixty. So this is four. And this segment is also 4. Okay. So, going back to the first equilateral triangle, this becomes 7. And this becomes 7. So, the total is actually, uh, this becomes 5 plus 4, 9 plus 7, 16. Okay. And if we draw another segment from F, such that this will be 60 degrees, and this E, this will be 60 degrees. So this will be 60. We actually form a this largest uh, equilateral triangle. And since one side is 16, then this is 13 already, 6 plus 7. So this becomes 3. And this becomes uh, 3. And if the total is a uh, 16, then 16 minus, uh, minus 7 is equal to 9. So this becomes 9. Okay, so we can actually find the area of this uh, uh, yellow region, the equiangular hexagon. So we have to consider the largest uh, equilateral triangle. So area of the shade then. 
is equal to one half times the base, which is a uh, sixteen, and the height is equal to eight square root of three. Uh, because for the for the properties of a uh, uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle because if you draw a line from the top then downwards you form a 30, 60, 90 triangle this uh, height will be uh, square root of 3 times uh, times half of the this uh, 8 so 8 square root of 3 I have the 16 I mean half of the base so 8 square root of 3 is the height so we need to subtract the other three triangles. So one half times uh, four times two square root of three minus uh, one half times three times uh, three over two square root of three. Then the last one is uh, one half times seven times 7 over 2 square root of 3 okay so we can actually uh, simplify this uh, this becomes 8 and this becomes uh, cancels out and let's just simplify this uh, area of the shaded is equal to 64 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 3 minus uh, 9 over 4 square root of 3 minus uh, <coughs> 49 over uh, 4 square root of 3 so we have here this uh, LCD for 64 times 4, 256 square root of 3. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 16 square root of 3, minus uh, 9 square root of 3, minus 49 square root of 3. Okay, so this gives us a uh, area of the shaded to be 182 square root of 3 over 4 or we can simplify this further 2 and 91 so area of the shaded is equal to uh, 91 over 2 square root of 3 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.